Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for another PB&J card class. And today I'll be combining some new Penny Black stamps with the MISTI, which stands for the Most Incredible Stamping Tool Invented by My Sweet Petunia. And for today's technique, I'm going to be using some new sentiment stamps by Penny Black to, and the MISTI to create a multicolored sentiment. And with the MISTI, this works so easily. And these new stamps by Penny Black, which you can see here, the sentiments called Rejoice with Joy, are perfect for this because they're a nice vertical sentiment with a mixture of fonts that look great when highlighted in a different color. And for my poinsettia stamping, that is coming from the stamp set called Winter Joy. So here's a look at the card that we'll be creating in today's video. And you can see there that multicolored sentiment. And I love how this, the coloring on this also adds to me to the meaning of that sentiment. So I already pre-stamped my poinsettia stamping and I just stamped those onto watercolor paper using VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then I embossed with clear embossing powder. And now I'm just laying out my sentiment stamp, looking for positioning. The Misty also has great um, grid lines on it so you can make sure that everything is perfectly straight. So that is another wonderful feature of the Misty. And now I'm just going to use some painter's tape and I'm going to use that to mask off this last word of the sentiment. And then I'm going to ink the stamp with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I <laughs> remember to take off the tape. It's easy to forget to do that. So just remember to take off that tape that you used to mask and then stamp the sentiment. Now I'm stamping onto 140 pound watercolor paper and I'm also stamping onto the textured side. So because of the misty, if it doesn't stamp perfectly, I can just stamp that portion again, which is what I'm doing here. I put down that tape, re-ink the stamp, and then remove the tape and stamped again so I can get a perfect impression of a detailed sentiment even on the watercolor paper that has some texture to it. So now I'm cleaning my stamp, used a baby wipe and then just a paper towel to make sure things are dry because I'm going to put that tape now on the top portion of the sentiment and I want to make sure that it's dry before I do that. I got some fuzz from my baby wipe. I got a different brand of baby wipes that are leaving some fuzz behind. So anyways, now I'm just putting down that tape on the top portion of the sentiment and I'm using Ranger Archival ink and this is in the color of Vermilion and I'm inking that stamp, removing the tape and then stamping that down. Now both of these inks are waterproof, which is great because when I watercolor this one layer panel, I can get watercolor over the sentiment and it's not going to bleed. And I'm just stamping this again. Oop, I almost forgot the tape. <laughs> so I'm taking off that tape and stamping again. And I just did it twice again because that watercolor paper has some texture. And there's just a close up of the wonderful stamping and how easy it is to get a multicolored sentiment using the Misty. So now to paint in my image, I'm just going to use the Shimmers paints. And these paints just come in a little bottle. <laughs> and I'm stirring it up with the back of my paintbrush. And that will that's all you have to do to make these ready to go. And I wanted to give them a little bit more of a watercolor consistency. So I'm just going to scoop out some of that paint, which has a beautiful shimmer and glittery shine to it. And I'm scooping that out onto my acrylic block. I'm just using my acrylic block like a palette. And then I'm going to mix in some water with that paint. And that just gives it more of a translucent look and it applies more like a watercolor. So for my first layer, I'm going to use the paint off of the acrylic block. And I'm just going to paint in the petals of the poinsettia. And I'm just gonna do a few here to show you the technique, but I, I do them all in the same way. So I'm just getting those completely covered with that watercolor with that watered down shimmers paint. And then I'm just going to use a brush. I dip it in water, then I wipe it off either with my fingers or on a dry paper towel to remove most of the water so it's fairly dry. And then I can swipe that on the tips of the poinsettia to remove some of the ink and give that a highlight. And then I'm just going back here and darkening things up wherever those petals overlap. So if there's another petal overlapping on top, the one that's underneath gets the darker color. And this image makes it really easy to paint these in and have great shading. 
So now I'm going in with a little bit darker color of the shimmers paint. This is called Berrylicious, and I'll have all of the exact colors, paints, inks, and stamps listed at the end of the video. And I'm adding that, again, in those same areas wherever another petal overlaps on top, the one that's underneath gets the darker color. If I need to blend it out anymore, I just add some water to do that. To paint the centers, I'm just painting those with, again, the Shimmers paint. And this is the color Sunflower. It's nice and bright and shiny. And here, I'm just trying to give you a look at the gorgeous shimmer that you get from those paints. It's really nice for holiday cards, just to give them that little extra bit of elegance. To paint the leaves, I'm following um, pretty much the same thing. I'm using the paint right out of the little pot, and I'm applying it towards wherever the leaf is closest to the center. And then I'm going back with just water to blend that out towards the edge of the leaf. And to paint the background, instead of using the Shimmers paint, I'm going to use a, another product by Shimmers, but this is called an Aqua Hues. It's just a watercolor paint and it is a flat finish. So the flowers and the leaves have a beautiful shimmer. And then this is just a nice wash of watercolor for the background that does not have any shimmer. I like mixing and matching those different finishes. I think it helps the flowers look even more shimmery and the background sort of fade behind. So I wet it down and I painted the watercolor and now I'm just taking that watercolor and dropping it in closest to the flower and letting it bleed out naturally. So the darker color is closest to the flowers and as it bleeds out away from the flowers it fades into the white. I did not want a, the perfect look to this, a perfect fade or perfect edges I like for this card that you see some puddles and splotches that will add at the end some splatters just to give it a more natural look to the background. So again putting down the color and then I can go back with just water on my brush to blend. And this color is the Aqua Hues by Shimmers and it's called Ivy Leak. And here you can see where I can just sort of pat that ink color in. So I'm just sort of pouncing my brush closest to the flowers. And because the, the area surrounding that is already wet, it just naturally bleeds out. So I, after I was finished with the background, I dried everything with my heat gun. And then I added a little bit of splatter. So using that... Ivy League Aqua Hues and a very small brush so the splatters weren't too big. I'm just putting a little paint on the brush and patting that brush across my finger to create a few splatters for the background. So here's another look at that multicolored sentiment made possible by the Misty and the Penny Black stamps and the rest of the card featuring painting with Shimmers paints. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And I will provide links below in the YouTube description box. And I'll also link to My Sweet Petunia where you can check out more information about the Misty. Here's a list of all the supplies used in the creating of today's card.